with DZ Death Rays and we're from Brisbane, Australia. And we're here at Toronto. It was your, your last show for your North American tour. Yeah. If you could sum it up in one word. Uh, <laughs> Problematic and loose. <laughs> yeah. Or loose. I'll just say loose. Loose. Right, loose yeah. A lot of the shows were really, really good. Uh, coming to Canada was something that was definitely right. Uh, we got to play a show at Sound Academy in front of like, I don't know, it must be like 1,500 people when we were there. So it was like pretty crazy. We were opening for a Canadian band and um, that was awesome. And South by Southwest, as usual, was like really intense, but we got to play a show with Andrew WK. So that went right. Yeah. That was a good show. Um, did you party hard? We did yeah, party hard. We did. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. But, uh, we didn't get to meet him, unfortunately. Yeah. He, uh, he's uh, straight in on, on the stage and then off the stage straight into a car and gone. But uh, yeah, it was cool. It was a good show. Um, but yeah, we did London and stuff as well before that, and that was great because you know we finally got to sell out a show overseas of our own, which is really really nice feeling. Yeah, the UK was great. We, we sold out our first show there, yeah. um, so that was pretty insane. I think it's just like um, you just gotta take it at, like at, with a grain of salt, like everything that happens like in the media over there. But in saying that, it's like a massive blessing to have um, the like the enemy write about you all the time and and what interested in you. Um, because yeah, we've gained like a fair few fans over there just through that alone, and then going over and playing the shows as well to back it up. So yeah, coming like doing the three weeks over here, and it's been pretty intense. It's just like finally get to go home to Australia and release this album that we, we wanted to put out for years, and um, yeah, it should be good. We've got new film clips and stuff going on, and yeah, it's all exciting. Great. Mm. You know, these are the shows that you always look forward to because you know there's going to be people there. Yeah. So I don't think we'd be able to do anything overseas if it weren't for Aussie Barbecue. Yeah, they really helped us out. Like you know, the first time we were going over to do South by, I mean, that was our that was our big show was the Aussie Barbecue rather than um, you know just playing like those little shows and and you got the Aussie Barbecue is the one where heaps of people come down and you get to hang out with some friends and stuff. who are also on tour, so it's good. Yeah. Do you find that there's a bit of movement in the press over here now that you've played? I mean, how many shows did you do in this tour? I think we did 17. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. So what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's only the beginning, though. So like, we know our schedule up until August, and this is like nothing. <laughs> so. Yeah. yeah. Um, Are you going to do the Great Escape and all that again? Yeah, we're doing the Great Escape in May. It's like your job is just to get to the show and make sure you're there on time and play a good show. Um, doing all the extra traveling like, between countries is kind of tough because you got to do all the flying and, you know. It's, it's sort of a lot easier when you're just driving around. Like we did Europe and, and England, and we just drove for three weeks, and uh, or four weeks, and, yeah. it was, and it was great. You know, it was you got pretty over driving, but it was so much easier than flying. Yeah, it's good. I think you just need to have fun people on the tour with you. That really helps.